Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and the company update about N-Wave. N-Wave announced that Nutradrite Food, a wholly owned subsidiary of N-Wave, will install a third large 100 kilo kilowatt ref drying plant to expand production capacity for their fast-growing moon cheese snack product line. The highly successful moon cheese is currently sold in over 25,000 distribution points in North America, including leading retailers such as Starbucks, Costco, Whole Foods, Publix, Target and Wegmans. The brand has also recently won distribution at HEB, ShopRite, Sprossen and Rayleigh's. Moon Cheese is in the midst of a major brand relaunch featuring premium new packaging, new varieties such as garlic and parmesan and cheddar bacon me crazy and new sizes. The relaunch was enthusiastically received by the retail partners and is supported by substantial investments in sales and marketing. Nutratrite sales have more than doubled over the last two years and the aggressive growth rates are expected to continue. For the past fiscal year, we at Commodity TV expect product sales of minimum $35 million. NWF will invest up to $8 million Canadian dollars and equip the Nutratrite production facility so that further rapid growth will be profitable. The investment extension includes upgrades to improve productivity and allows the possible installation of two more Nutraref processing lines. With this investment in the, speciality, in the specially built commercial infrastructure, up to five Nutraref machines can be put into operation today. After completion of the first expansion, Nutradrite will have three large Nutradrive machines in commercial production. With over 20 million Canadian dollars in cash, NWEF has sufficient capital to do this. Moon Cheese continues to grow and will continue its international success story for the benefit of NWEF's profitability. A new research and development license agreement was signed with Moorpark Technology. Moorpark has also committed to purchase a 10 kW ref plant to be used at its pilot plant in Cork in Ireland. NWEF also signed a commercial license agreement with Patatas Fritas Torres, the license grants the non-exclusive right to process a variety of high-quality cheese snack products in Spain. Patatas Fritas Torres has purchased also a 10 kW ref facility to start commercial production of new premium cheese snack products using NWAVE's dehydration technology. Founded in 1969, the company began as a manufacturer of premium potato chips and this tradition continues today with a wide range of innovative premium snacks and chips. Patatas Fritas Torres intends to expand its range of premium snack products at REF technology for the local market in Spain and for export markets. This license is the second commercial agreement signed by NWEF in Spain and the twelfth of these licenses for processing dairy products worldwide. What at first looked like a small setback could now prove to be an advantage. Bonduel, the company's longtime licensing partner, introduced its premium frozen vegetable brand in flavor to many food service customers in early 2019, generating strong commercial interest, including the, the Grande Enterprise Award ADRIQ for the revolutionary in flavor process. Due to the positive economic dynamics of Bonduel, NWF had previously agreed to extend Bonduel's exclusivity period to use its REF technology for the production of dehydrofrozen vegetables in North America until 30 September 2019. This extension included the requirement to purchase a 400 kW REF machine on a commercial scale before the above date. In July and following its first gastronomic launch, Bonduel launched the In Flavor dehydrofrozen vegetable line in North America through its well-known retail brand Arctic Garden. Arctic Garden products are now available to consumers from retailers across Canada in Fajita Mix, Pizza Mix and diced onion varieties. This direct consumer initiative is intended to justify the possible purchase of additional NREF ref dewatering machines in the near future, but they will not do so before 30 September 2019. Bonduel simply needs more time to meet the demand. However, I see this as an advantage for NWAVE because now it is possible to offer this technology to other food manufacturers and as we hear from the company, the interest is probably there. So the exclusivity is gone. We are curious what is next. NWAVE is fully on course for expansion, has no debt and with 20 million Canadian dollars cash, they can easily handle all upcoming investments. In addition, there is a steady cash flow from machine sales, but also increasingly from license fees. That's great to hear from the company. Check it out. Many thanks for watching us and bye bye from Switzerland.